Hello, everyone, and welcome. It is Wednesday, August 4th, and we're joined by everyone that is cool right now. We have a bunch of people in the building. It sounded like Jesse. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I've been, nice. I'm, I'm doing some work at home while also following the, uh, the hangout. Yeah. So, oh, good to have you with us. Dual monitors going work on one monitor and meteorites on the other. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're really glad to have you our, our uh, australian friend so welcome yeah. aboard man <laughs> thanks yeah we have so we have germany and australia so and uh canada in the house yeah so. yeah we're in lockdown at the moment so the good thing about working from home is that i'm able to um be a part of the meteorite hangout so yeah, yeah. pretty good with that i'm going to invite marco geyser in germany and he is luckily on vacation this week and wants to spend time with us. Hey, Marco. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Fantastic. <laughs> the surface is highly eroded, but it shows, um, please correct me if I'm wrong, um, a typical structure, and that typical structure is the monomic eucrite, most probably. Yep. That's... And what is really nice on those HED meteorites is the crust. Oh, oh man. man, you're killing us. Oh, oh my. No. And you can hear a nice roll over lip at the edge. But. Whoa. Look, uh, so <laughs> glass. Oh, look at that. That looks like Gerrara. Yeah, I I love this angle right there where you can see the the front lip is just extended. Look at that void right there. Yeah, yeah. Like I never ever want that to fall off for you, Marco. I hope that stays intact forever. Yeah, hopefully. That's um, by the way the reason why it's not uh, classified because I'm afraid if I cut a piece of it that it uh, falls apart. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. for, for Marco, that is an amazing Ukraine. Um, but we needed some oriented stones. So <laughs> <laughs> let's see if we can get some focus on there. Got some little shapely gals. Nice, nice flipping. Real Ooh, nice. Yeah. That's nice. Cool. Getting away from me there. That was a fabulous meteorite for orientation. It, before Shelly Abinskit was pretty much the oriented stone meteorite. You get a little rollover lip from that too as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's that's oh, got a roller yeah. lip all the way around. Yeah. 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 I think they look gorgeous. Both both under normal lighting and in cross polarized light shown here. It just opens it up. Clearly see large crystals typical of your lights. Oh, absolutely. I also got this tiny little gift from Gamma. I already had a couple of stones of this well-known large fall, but I think this is my favorite one. Look at the contraction cracks. Oh, he just yeah. zooming. I believe it's <laughs> quite rare to have this beautiful contraction or weathering cracks on a snowstone that is this small. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm almost a little intimidated to show anything that I have now that we just spent the last while looking at Marissa's fabulous thin sections, but Prior to today, we had talked about the NWA-13992, the Lunar mm -hmm. Fragmental Breccia. Mm -hmm. But I recently, as of a couple of days ago, acquired a slice of it. Oh, beautiful. And so let me, let me take it out of the case. Matt Stream listed it as the boot. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we can see why. Absolutely. Nice. But I just thought that was extremely, extremely interesting, um, the inside of it, and I just had to have it. Yeah. And so I put up a ridiculous bid on eBay and got it. Don't drop right. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's 
It's very thin. It's but very it's, reminiscent of Nine Inch's boot. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything in particular wow. that identifies it specifically as a moon rock? Welcome again to our, well, this is our 61st in a row. Yeah. So good on, good on us every week, week after week, man. Uh, and one way we're able to do that is we rely heavily on our friends in the meteorite community uh, around the globe. And one of them is Damian in Croatia. He was with us live last week and he showed us this 700 and I think 16 or 700 gram um, chondrite that, uh, was, that he got from Pat Brown. And we get to look at it. He, he did the box opening last week. But now we get to enjoy it at Damian style with all the photography and cross polarized lighting. So enjoy. Nice. This fantastic new donation from Pat Brown I got a week ago. Mm. I will shut up now and let you admire this beautiful stone lit in three different ways. Cross and flow lines, yeah, beautiful. Look at the flow lines. I will shut up now yeah. and let you admire this beautiful stone lit in three different ways. Can get roll over lip. A lot of secondary crust. Secondary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at there's, there's so much to look at, but look at this little contour right here. Perfect, right. perfect in yeah. black. I, I think in this video, he'll show in reflect across polarized light, uh, and you can see a bunch of the chondrules. Okay, we're going to have to digest it like an elephant, one by the time. Oh. Man, yeah, and you flow. Can, the, the flow lines actually do radiate from a point on the, on the front side. Yeah. That's amazing. Man, if you could have found the rest of that rock to put <laughs> together... Oh, yeah, that would be cool to have the whole thing, but it, it's really nice that it shows all of these different features in one rock. Exactly. Oh, yeah. This is cross polarized. And you can, you can start, you can see through it. I love that. It's like Superman x ray vision. Mm -hmm. Drippiness. It's like alligator skin. Few little chondral blowouts through the really thick crust on the backside. Yeah. Oh. According to my magnet, it's got quite a bit of metal. I would definitely say an H class. Combine that with chondrules this visible even through the desert varnish, and I would guess an H3 or at most H4. The cross polarized reflected light really shows off this beautiful fusion crust and chondrules in these photos. Tiny gemstones. Cosmic art, man. Yeah, absolutely. Cosmic Arthur. <laughs> and great okay. present. The video is great. Okay, yeah, he I does beautiful camera work. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm pausing it right there long enough for everyone to do a screen grab because we all know that's going to be your wallpaper tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> 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 Some of those condos look like they could fall right off of there. I know. There. Okay, so first I wanted to show you my 877 gram campo. Nice. That, that is really good shape. Yeah. Yeah, nice character on that one. Well, wow, regbaglyph nice. right out of the tip yeah. of the arm. That's pretty cool. That's beautiful. Jeez. <laughs> We've seen a quite a few really nice um, compo samples, compo de cello samples in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, I bought that in 1997 or 98. 
Yes, some of those. So I, I've got a slice of that one too, and I'm uh, I'm trying to clean up in the uh, in the lab here, and I've managed to bury it underneath something. Uh, mine came just the other day, but uh, I, I believe that I see carbonaceous uh, inclusions in mine as well, and I think that large black feature could well be a carbonaceous inclusion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I mean, Arthur, Arthur was quick on the draw and he actually got the sister slice to the one I kept. Yes. Of last week, the one you showed last week, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Nice. I love Gebel Kamel. Yes, yep. there it is. <laughs> Caramely color. Yeah, yeah for, that's, oh, that's beautiful. And the alligator skin, yep. For, for the, the go ahead. Yep. Uh, I was going to say for those on YouTube who are, are looking at um, this for the first time, this is a meteorite from Egypt. Um, pronounced correctly, it's Jebel Kamel. But well, everyone thank you. Calls it, everyone calls it Gebel Kamel. But he uh, and his wife, uh, Iris, were the original people who got the Peekskill car. Uh, so I got to go up there and, and see the original uh, American Museum of Natural History display, which was uh, given to them afterwards since they loaned the car out uh, to the museum mm -hmm. and got to come home with a original Peekskill Herald paper covering the fall of the Peekskill meteorite, along with being a person who does uh, car hitting hammer stones. Mm -hmm. One of the lug nuts from the car. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that's <laughs> direct Very from cool. direct from Al Lang, the original owner. So that's kind of kind of wow. cool. That Sweet. is so awesome. I couldn't pass on the opportunity to get this most historic of meteorites, being the oldest precisely documented fall. Oh, <laughs> killer! <laughs> Krasnoyarsk is also one of the most significant early finds. A first power site, it was also used to finally convince people meteorites come from space, and also used in the discovery of Thompson structures, also known as Wittmannstatten patterns. And uh, James Shelton won that free classification yep. service. Mm -hmm. This is what's <laughs> left of the one kilo. Uh, these were polished with 600 grit today. That's the cut and that's the piece. Look at the depth of those cracks in that thing. No Amazing. We I'm were both surprised that it didn't fall apart. I, I was just about to say, yeah. I'm totally surprised you, you don't have a bunch of you know five gram pieces. Look, look at the center of that thing. I look at it like that. Crack goes like straight through from one side to the other. I'm amazed that it doesn't. Yeah, it, you can follow it around. Uh, well, I'm backwards here. I mean, use a pointer. Uh, you know, screen. This this crack comes down through here, and then it gets real faint, and then it comes down this side, and gets really big. Splits here, oh, wow. and I'm surprised <laughs> this piece didn't fall off right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If that thing got in the same room as my saw, it would fall into 20 pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's that's a gorgeous, it's very unique. I have no idea what it is, but I'm, we're staying tuned week after week and we're going to find out, man. Yep. It's a good one. This is the interior. It was very fractured. There was cracks yeah. everywhere. That's wild. Exactly. I'm I'm trying to put a classification on it, you know, over Zoom, you know, putting it all down in resolution, but it's really strange. Lots of metal. It almost looks like the entire matrix is a melt. Like uh... Yeah. Yeah. And here is Yeah, you look at it oh. one way, it looks like an L6 or something, and you look at it the other way, it looks like Taza. Yeah. <laughs> Ugly, but we are checking in now with a video submission from our very own crew member, Jules. This is her first attempt at cutting Saracho. Did it go well? 
<laughs> You'll see. <laughs> hey, Julie. Hi. Hey, Julie. Uh, Hi, this is a 40 gram piece of um, Cerecho. It's a palisite. It's my first one I've uh, ever cut. Um, I did glue it. I was just cutting it in half. I glued it just a little bit just because I was uh, scared about cutting it because um, I've only cut chondrites and I am still learning. Um, my husband wanted me to cut it in half and give it, looks give like it, it came in out half. Nice. And awesome. Uh, thing I learned by cutting Saracho was um, uh, when you compare it to chondrites, stonies, uh, stonies don't retain any heat. And when you're cutting through a thick um, Saracho, if you're not if you're not running enough lubrication and uh, coolant uh, in your in your cutting fluid, um, that stone will heat up rather quickly. And you're you know, so definitely up your up your game on water uh, irrigation of the cutting to take as much heat away, make the cutting yeah. easier and also save your blade life. Thank you. That was, that was today's bonus. And the thing about it is uh, we discussed during a pause. That's one thing you got, you got to join us live because you didn't know that today is actually going to be two hangouts. The Marissa thin section photography discussion about um, chondrules and it is just golden. So we're splitting that off. It's going to be its own hangout. And uh, so when you watch this video, <laughs> you missed out on an hour of really, really cool stuff. <laughs> but go find the other video. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then like them both, hit subscribe, and tell all your neighbors. Absolutely.